वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज फास्ट एंड इजी मैथ्स विच इज डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सिंप्लीफाई दिस कॉम्प्लिकेटेड लुकिंग रूल्स ओके एंड फॉर यू ऑल टू अंडरस्टैंड वी आर गोइंग टू आई मीन टू मेक दिस एंटायर क्वेश्चन विच इज लुकिंग वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड आई एम गोइंग टू यूज मेथड ऑफ एल्जेब्रा यू वॉन्ट बिलीव हाउ एल्जेब्रा हेल्प यू टू सॉल्व दीज the sticky looking sums in matter of seconds okay so i'm not going to start with this one first because it's looking too big so first let's start with this one okay so now first we have this is 70 this is 71 72 73 which are multiplied together plus 1 and all of this is under a root and how do we solve this okay so first things first let let's take 70 is equals to x so now the question looks something like this this is 70 which is getting sorry this is x which is getting multiplied by x plus 1 right 71 can be written as 70 plus 1 and 70 we know which is nothing but our x this will then get multiplied by x plus 2 this will get multiplied by x plus 3 and plus 1 right now let's try and open the brackets okay but we should not open the brackets as it is okay because that is going to make it more complicated so i'm just going to give you a trick okay so when let's i'm just going to arrange x into x plus 3 and x plus 1 into x plus 2 now you might be wondering how will this strike you okay so if you look at this orally if you multiply this you will get a 3x okay similarly if you just multiply your x with x plus 3 you will still get a 3x okay so maybe you can do something with that i'm not sure let's just give it a try so we have x square plus 3x the whole is getting multiplied by x square plus 2x plus x plus 2 right so this is nothing but x square plus 3x And this is x square plus 3x plus 2. Okay, so you saw how we got a 3x. So see, understand. Whenever you have two brackets, you just have to simply add or subtract the middle coefficient. If the two signs are plus, that's why I just added one and two, and then I gave a x to it. Okay, these are the small tricks which happen when you keep on solving so many questions. These kind of these tricks sim simply just come to your head. Okay, students, if you are liking the way I am explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. So now, like I said, we are going to take help of algebra. So let's do this. Let's x square plus three x b y. Okay, if we do that, then we have something like this. Let's put everything under a root now, right? So this is this is one part of your root, and then there is a plus one, okay, which is supposed to get added. So y into y plus two plus one, okay. So we have y square plus two y plus one. And if you look closely, this is nothing but the expansion of what y plus one the whole square, right? So this can I say it's nothing but just y plus 1 and what is your y y was nothing but i'm just going to continue it your y was your x square plus 3x plus 1 right because your y was nothing but x square plus 3x and your x square was nothing but your or rather x was nothing but 70 So we have seventy square plus three into seventy plus one, so which is four thousand nine hundred plus two one zero plus one. So when you add, you get one one one, and you get five. So the answer is five thousand one hundred and eleven. So you saw how easy this complicated looking sum became. Okay, so I'm sure you must have used this trick and started solving this one. But those of you who have not, I'm going to show you a different trick for this one, and I'll tell you why am I using a different trick for this one. You know why? Because here, if you look, we have a 90 square. 
here we had nothing it's just a one so i thought that let's try with 70 because that's very easy to calculate also okay but since we have something called as 90 square already given so let's try and put everything in terms of 90 so we'll get 90 minus 2 which is getting multiplied by 90 minus 1 it's getting multiplied by 90 plus 1 this is getting multiplied by 90 plus 2 plus 90 square is given okay now if you look closely we have a situation where we have 90 minus 2 and 90 plus 2 and we have 90 minus 1 and 90 plus 1 and we all know that a minus b into a plus b gets you a square minus b square correct so you have 90 minus 2 and 90 plus 2 i'm just going to write it together so it becomes clear for you all students i'm reminding all of you all to like this video if you really like the way i'm explaining because trust me that gives me more than enough encouragement in doing these kind of videos every single week okay so this will now become 90 square minus 4 this will become 90, 90 square minus 1 plus 90 square so now let's say let let 90 square equal to x so we now this becomes x square minus 4 x square minus 1 plus x square correct so if you open this let's keep everything under a root only i think it's easier that way so you have x raised to 4 minus x square minus 4 x square plus 4 plus x square so this x square and this x square gets cancelled so you have something like this x raised to 4 minus 4 x square plus 4 okay students please understand whenever you have something like this even if there was this is a cube root kind of a question which i have taken but if they had given you a uh, sorry this is a square root kind of question which i had taken but if they give you a cube root question then that means you have to simplify the given numbers in terms of a whole cube to get rid of the cube root okay so here obviously i need to get rid of the square so this has to be in terms of what the whole square and if you look closely this is actually the expansion of x square minus 2 the whole square yeah that's my expansion right x square minus 2 the whole square okay so this can now be written as x square minus 2 the whole square the square and the square root will cancel so now coming to your answer you have that this entire thing now becomes x square minus 2 which is equal to 90 square minus 2 it will now become 8100 minus 2 which will be 8098 so you saw how easy this entire complicated question became correct so that's it for now i will very soon see you in the next video bye